Hello, Dr. Cloud. I am in great need to change my life to become an emotionally healthy person. You know what? You're going to get there because of that phrase. You realize you are in need to change your life. Okay. A lot of people, do you realize how many people don't ever realize that they have a need? They just feel like bad stuff is happening and they feel like they're bad or they feel like, you know, everybody's doing this to them all the time and they're victims and they're passive and they can't do anything about it. But you own something that is the key to changing everything. You said, I have a need. I have a need. If you can get in touch with your need and not judge your need, not say, I shouldn't need this. I'm older than this now. I should have been fixed this. No, no, no. Just say, I need help. Okay. I need. I need is the most powerful phrase that can come out of a human's, in the beginning of the process, of a human's heart and soul. One of my favorite verses, Jesus said, blessed are the poor in spirit. Okay? Because they're going to have all sorts of good stuff happen. Why? Because if you're poor, you start begging. And once we start asking, that opens the door. If we can't feel our thirst and our hunger, our need, then... That's the key to the whole thing. So don't judge your weakness. Don't judge your need. Do what you did. I am in great need to change my life. Okay, that's a great start. To become emotionally healthy, I need to surround myself with healthy, safe individuals. Yes, you do. But want to become healthy myself, of course. I don't ever recognize my unhealthy patterns like I have this year. I didn't, I should say, I guess I didn't ever recognize my unhealthy patterns. Hey, welcome to the program. Welcome to the program of life, right? Have you ever talked to a fish and knew it was wet? No, it just keeps swimming around, bumping into stuff and eating whatever's in front of them. But once the fish learns it's wet, then it's figuring out when, wait, do I have any choices here? Uh, I need to find some water. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm out of the water, flopping somewhere. I need a boat. I don't know. But we got to know we have a problem. And and the fact that you have, have figured out that you got some patterns, what a great realization. When, when we realize that anybody can have a problem, right? If you have a bad relationship, that's a problem. You fix it. You pick a bad person or you fail in some way because you can't get your act together to get something in on time and you 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 I won't do that again you fix it or whatever it is if we fix problems that's just part of life but here's the difference when we don't have problems we have the same problem over and over and over again that's a pattern and you said you recognize patterns and you are so far down the road already you got a need Okay, you're recognizing that, you realize you got to have some good people around you to help you, and you realize there are some patterns. I wish you were my client, you would be so easy. Oh my gosh, that's like half the work, already done. Okay, I'm working on this, and this is a process, and it takes time. And here's the question, how do I stop feeling like I have to do this quickly? Good question. Well, first of all, you've got to... Um, just own that and surrender it as not a, and I won't read your name because you didn't say if you want to be anonymous, but I'm going to call you Susie. That's not your name. You know your name. But that's not just a Susie problem. That's a human problem. We want it now. Right? So, <laughs> of course, you want it now you're not bad for that. Just own it. All right. You know, one of the interpretations of the story of the garden of Eden is that this is kind of part of the whole mix that Adam and Eve wanted everything now, <laughs> instead of having to go down the path of learning to be wise. No, you can be as wise as God right now by eating this one step, eat this, apple or whatever we want to pretend the fruit was call 1-800 be free now call 1-800 you can take this pill and you too can lose 400 pounds today by taking this one pill 
Call 1-800-NOW. Operators are standing by to hook you up with the love of your life and the perfect match. It's going to ride off into the sunset on one of those big cruise ships. Never to have an argument or never disappoint each other ever again just by calling this number. You get the idea. That's a human thing. You can make a lot of money selling people on instant stuff, right? But it ain't the way it is. So what you have to do is you got to surrender that. Okay, first of all, all right? No, there's a, more to it than that. But I just want you to recognize this as human. I want it now and say, gosh, I wish I, wish I could put an acorn in the ground and it grow into a big oak tree in a day. Dead gum, and I hate it that that's not true. Okay, God, I surrender that, and I'm going with your path. Let's now. Once we say that, all right. Once we say that, then if I say, okay, I'm giving up the instant thing, God. I realize that, and I give you some favorite verses, as I call them. You know, go go to the Book of Hebrews where it tells you very specifically that. Are you ready for this? I love, 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 love this verse. It says that he is God, meaning God. God is perfecting those that he's already made perfect. Oh, wait a minute. What? What does that mean? Well, simply it means that, you know, when you when we're in our brokenness and we reach out to God and we come into a relationship with him and we say, Okay, I'm not perfect, but Jesus, you are, and I accept your perfection. Then, in God's eyes, He's already forgiven us. We're we're perfect in His eyes, even though I'm still a screw up. And then He says, "All right, well, you know, I see you as you're going to be, not as you are. And we're going to go down the path of making you into what you're going to be. Oh my gosh, it takes all the pressure off, right? So I want you to start with realizing." Time is a part of every process of healing, except when sometimes God supernaturally interrupts that. That happens. You know, I've, I've seen that happen. It's not the norm. Usually healing takes time. Even sometimes when Jesus healed people, you know, there were steps in it. So realize this is a fact. Healing takes time and growth takes time. But remember what I said, God, I want this acorn to be an oak tree. Oh, it's not doing it. Oh, crap. I guess I got to do it your way. Plant it into the ground. Now, what am I going to do? Well, we got time involved now. So here's a question like everybody has to ask themselves every Monday morning. How am I going to spend my time? Well, glad you asked. You spend your time getting lost in the process. You're doing the gardening. So you go to your groups, okay? You spend your time getting around people that are growing. You spend your time reading, joinboundaries.me, watch the videos, listen to stuff. You spend your time in the process of growth. And I'm telling you, as research shows, when you are engaged in a process, guess what goes away? Time. You ever notice that? When you're really, really present, connected, and doing something that you're really engaged with, and you're, it's got your passion and all of this, it, you look at the clock and, oh, crap, two hours have passed. Well, that's because you've stepped into eternity. All sorts of research has been done on this. Read a book called Flow by um, Dr. Csikszentmihalyi that timelessness is one of the signs of full engagement. So when you get into the full engagement of this, then you're gonna learn that this is the way it works. It goes a circle like this, we go up and then we go down, but we're always going up, but we're kind of having to re-loop through stuff. That's normal, you got patterns laid down in your brain. But also the other thing is this, you are going to get in some groups and around people that have been at this a long time. And they're going to share how they've been at it a long time and they still screwed it up today, but didn't screw up as much as I used to. Okay, so there you go. That's how this works. 
So you learn, you surrender to the process, you engage in the process, you change your intellectual understanding of the process, and it does take time. You become comfortable and you enjoy the process, even with your failures. And when you do fail, immediately you say, well, there it is again. And you never spend another moment thinking about it after you confess it and you move on. Move on. One extra minute after you've found forgiveness, one extra minute beating yourself up for some failure is one minute you're not spending on getting well. <laughs>